Amen. 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 And our last encouragement words are coming from a friend, Sister Alice Hughes. Let's give her a hand and she Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I like to say good evening to everyone. I was asked to do this. I really wasn't planning on speaking because I speak to him on my own most of the time. Uh -huh. uh, to the pastor, um, to the guest pastor, and to everyone that's here. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is that I met Kennell. <laughs> um, it was probably about, I think he was like 16. 7, 15. Um, my daughter brought him to the house and we were, I was in the kitchen and I looked outside and I was like, I asked my son, I was like, who is it out there with Jessica? And he was like, uh, her friend. And I said, what they doing? They was out there dancing and I said, what they doing? So, and, and when I saw him, you know how you really don't, I got three of my own. I didn't want no more kids at my house. You need to go home. You know, you need to go home. I'm just being honest. But he did, when I say this child came to my house almost every day. Every house I've lived in, every state that I, just about every state that I've been to, um, he, he, he made it that, he made it that way. I lived in Memphis for, in 2007 or eight, he made it up there. Um, he worked, he stayed with us, and he stayed with us when we was in hell. I think they used to sneak him in the house, and, and he'd stay all night. And um, I just thank God for Pete. He, we've had our difficult times because I pray so hard um, for him, and and I gotta be honest, uh, his attitude. And and we, we, we've had this discussion on, on many, many, many occasions. And he's getting better. I, 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 I pray to him and I, I discuss things with him I, in my in my inbox. Um, we got long list of inboxes when he was when he was in, in Jonesboro. He would inbox me and say this, and I'd be like, "Look, I don't want to hear that mess. If you ain't gonna do if you ain't gonna do what I told you to do, don't call me." So he's listening. He's listening as he he's maturing and he's getting older and he's he's learning that. Um, People around you, you have to let some of these people go. That's right. I have to. Um, and then I'm 47, and, and I'm still maturing. I'm, I'm still learning a lot of things. Um, I lost a son in 2014, and he wouldn't go nowhere. He was there. He he was right there. He called him his brother. And I just thank God for him. He's always been around. I don't think I ever get rid of him. And, and, and his mom used to always tell me, she thanked me, you know, all the time. When he, I used to come over, sometimes I'd even have two biscuits and he'd have a plate too. I just thank God for him. I want to encourage you, Peter, that I love you. Yes, and I'll never tell you anything wrong. Even when I'm fussing or I, even if I don't even text you back, it's not that I don't want to. It's just sometimes I want you to figure things out on your own. Okay. I want you to stay closer to God. I want you to stick to you, stick with your mom, because your mom was there for you, Petey yeah, Carey. She, yeah. she was right there. Yes, she, was. she was right there. Yes, and who was there for you was that was supposed to be there for yes, you. That's right. yes, when you called me, I, I had what I had for you, and that was all I could do. But you know my heart is with you, and whatever you're going through, keep it to yourself. That's right. That's, right. That's the truth. Ms. This right, woman just, I almost didn't even know what to even say. say. She yeah. came up here. She, she said it all. Yes, yes, she did. Baby, there are people that love you. You lean on those people who love you. Yeah. And those that don't, you got to let it go. That's right. I just want you to know that I love you. My, my family loves you. They want to come, but one sister was sick. We love you, Pete, and you know that. Thank you. Thank you.